too, by the way. That's and, right. Uh, not a bad time to go visit the zoo. It's nice and easy. Easy weather with a jacket. You can walk all day and not get overheated. Bordner Home Improvement City Camp checking out overcast skies. This is a view from our tower looking out to the north across the skyline of Kansas City at what may become kind of a wet Kansas City. I'm going to show you the radar in just a second. Temperatures kind of all over the place. We have 59 Marshall, Warrensburg, upper 50s also in Richmond. A little bit warmer, St. Joe at 62, but Maryville once again, the warmest spot at 64. You have to travel north almost all the way to Iowa to find the warmest weather around here. 61 is the temperature officially. The wind is straight out of the east now at about 12 miles per hour. Look for an easterly direction to the wind flow tonight through the day tomorrow. Typically east winds mean rain and there's a little bit of it out there. 57 degrees expected at seven, so we're down four degrees then. Skies will stay mostly cloudy through the evening. 54 at nine, 51 degrees at about 11. That's jacket weather in my book. Tomorrow morning, we're down into the mid 40s at 44. East northeast winds at less than eight miles per hour. The wind will be light. The skies will be mostly cloudy, at least initially, and another pretty chilly first step out the door, but a great day to be exercising. This is it. Now you got some nice cool days. You can really get in some really good exercise outside without overheating. Wednesday would be a great workout day. 50 degrees at 9, 59 at noon, 64 at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Yep, I say that's a runner's forecast or a biking forecast. Live power Doppler radar, there's the rain just to the west of Kansas City. Our site and belt and easily picking this up. The rain as far east as about Wyandotte and Johnson counties. There's a long line of this. It basically covers up I-70. This is not a heavy rain, just a few light sprinkles out there. In fact, you could probably get a ball game in with this light rain, so Little League forecasts are going to be a go, I think, tonight. Stronger storms of the south. Look at all the counties under uh, severe thunderstorm watches in Texas and a few warnings, too, especially in that area just a little bit west of Texarkana. Forecast track, and it does show you scattered showers. Uh, basically going away, though, for the next couple of days, returning on Friday with a chance for a few midday showers. That, too, looks very, very light. Saturday rains may be a little more meaningful. Uh, still, if you hear a rumble of thunder, it would be a weak one. And then it looks like Sunday, Monday, additional chances for rain. So the rain is coming. Here's the Storm Track 5 forecast track for rainfall, calling for maybe an inch. In Kansas City, this looks to me like we'll safely get a half inch, more than likely at least three quarters of an inch. I think one inch, the way this rain looks to be fairly light, might be on the high side. Security Bank seven day forecast. Well, temperatures should begin a warming trend now. Mid 60s tomorrow, upper 60s Thursday. We'll revisit that Friday and then along comes the warmest stretch of weather we've had in a long time. Four straight days in the 70s. How about that? Yellow weather alert Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So we've got warm weather coming, Carolyn. We've got rain coming. Unfortunately, they're all coming at the same time. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Thank you, Gary. Okay. New here at 4. The